Hello everyone, I am Billy Barker. And I'm Arjun Sharma, and welcome to BQC, the final slot of the day. Yeah. Oh, everyone's excited for this one. It is Olympians versus Mammoths. Yeah, it's going to be a very fun game. Uh, people have said that that's quite one-sided, but I don't think it's going to be a quite decent split. We'll see I think happens. it will be a dominant affair, personally, from watching them play in a community league. I have a feeling Olympians will be very dominant. I think Mammoths will still play very well because they are a very solid side. Um, I think it will be similar to the last game uh, between Wales Seconds and uh, South Sea, where I think you're going to see the players who are slightly more active. Um, not oh yeah, active, maybe fast paced, um, having a bit more speed, having a bit more strength behind them, sort of be the the, the, the difference maker here. Um, I also think the beta game is going to be very much. Uh, where the game comes down to a dominant beat game should lead to a really comfortable win here for what, who I think will win in um, Olympians. Yeah, I'm very happy to see uh, a strong a strong beat line uh, being trained to beat a Mesa side. Yes, it's always good to see. You know. Yep. Uh, your head ref for this game is Sims Thornton. Uh, ARs, where are the ARs for this one? Oh, I might be waiting. Let me do something that I should do. Oh, no, I left my glasses in the changing room. It's okay, I won't be able to read as many numbers, that's fine. Uh, so to start, to run for the quaffle, we have Josh Armitage and Tom Harvey. Running for the bludgers are... Oh God, What's your name? Huh? <laughs> Tom Andreu, and I'm pretty sure that's Zach. Could be. Uh, Are you looking at me? Yeah, Zach McDonald. I believe it's Zach McDonald. Right, sorry, I, I am a little bit tired because I just played in the last one, as everyone may have seen. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this one should be fun. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, lots of people from Chester who are writing to uh, uh, play people or playing for uh, the Olympians now. So it's going to be. So you should know their names as well, I'm hearing, Billy. Most That's of what I'm hearing. I don't know anyone's names, apparently, uh, according to most of the true Quaffle community. But no, all right, we are going to be off in, in two seconds. Oh. And they're off. And they're off. And there was an almost start. Uh, off start. Uh, Olympians winning both uh, Quaffle and Bludger off the start. Mm -hmm. Armitage with the ball running it down the left. Uh, not left, right. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can't do oh. directions. Ollie Barker with the ball now. Looking for Matt Fen is that Fenton. Fenton, yeah. Fenton, yeah. Fenton with the ball now. Looking to cut, cut inside. Pops oh, the ball over the top towards Armitage. Uh, Armitage, Armitage oh. takes a shot. Nice Great block. save by Lewis Dixon. Yeah, that's Lewis Dixon there. Mm -hmm. Lewis has been out for ages as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's very nice to see them back playing for Mammoths. Mm -hmm. well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say now that uh, the Olympians were quite fast-paced and the Mammoths are taking it quite slow, which I think might work out for them. I think Mammoths are trying to find their feet in this game first. I think they're, they're going to settle, move the ball about. Oh, great interception Ooh. there by Barker. Barker looks to break past oh, Harvey. On. Barker's one-on-one -on -one versus uh, Lewis Dixon. Oh, pops it, it over. Off. I I it. It. That's a goal. With a lovely push past goal. Uh, no harm, no foul called there. Goal is good. Mm -hmm. Score is 1 0 to Olympians now. Yep. Olympians Co with control as well. And all three blood bludgers in the keeper zone. It's a great start. Callum Brennan with the bludger now. Let's see if he looks to trade. No, not looking to trade. Uh, mm -hmm. Dixon Brick can bring the ball up on our right hand. Our yep. right? No, the our left. Our left. Coming towards towards us, yep, into the pitch. Ooh. Pass is halfway. Great trading One there, move. but uh, um, Olympians still retain control. Dixon looking for an option. Ooh. Great attempted beat there. Oh, great dodge and as well. Olympians have lost control. Ooh, will they keep it? Olympians. Dixon beat. Will they look to break now? I would personally look to break. Uh, Mariano with the ball up. to Barker. Barker. Oh, 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 oh what a goal. What a lovely goal there from Barker. Yeah. As falling off. Uh, hit the back of his heels to catch the ball mm. uh, and pops it off. Lovely goal there. Very nice. I didn't think it was going in personally after the, the uh, fumbled uh, pass. But I did think the intercept was there. It was unfortunate that the uh, Mammoth players couldn't get their hands to it. Um, Benton capitalises. That's how I would. It was it. a good move. He did well. Yeah. Dixon across oh. now to. Oh, is that Sammy Wainwright? Yes, I can Sam Wainwright with the ball now. Uh, coming down the near side of the pitch to us. 
pops it back to Dixon. Mm -hmm. Dixon with the ball now. Armitage is keeping point. Yep. Looking for an option. I apologise if I don't know everyone's name in this game. Um, yeah. As I commentate. Once again. Ooh. And Olympians coming up. Oh, they weren't. They were so the turnover. Uh, inbounding on the boundary for Olympians. Barker with the ball. Uh, brings it in. He's going to run it up. Uh, control still with Olympians. Mm -hmm. They're making a way to get a pitch. Yeah. They, they, they've managed to get themselves in a good position while he was coming up. Coughlin is now going down the wing, looking for Benton to shoot. I'm going to assume Benton is looking to shoot to come this way and shoot. No drive. The drive is on back to Barker. Barker drives over. Ball po mm. pops over the top. Retained by. Oh, I can't and now it's a no logic situation. Uh, can't remember a lot of these players' names, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Popped over the top, back to Fenton. Fenton, Fenton beat by Callum Brennan. Uh, ball turned over to uh, um, keeper. Let's say. To the keeper. Passed back to the keeper by Sam Wainwright. Yeah, that was Wainwright. Mm -hmm. Ball back to Wainwright. Mm -hmm. Olympians are doing a, 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 a good job of keeping that, uh, that, that, that control. Yep, and they're playing this very high pressure defense where they're not even letting Mammoth. They're pressuring Mammoth where they can't cross the, keep, the, the halfway line. Now they have. Uh, the reset can be forced. Good trade. Mariano is and beat. Ball put in the air. Ooh. Oh, Dixon. Ooh. Oh, he's got the ball. Well contested ball Ooh. in the air. Wainwright with the ball now, looking to make the A play. Callum Brennan there coming to secure the, the uh, quaffle. And um, being but now he's a bit distracted and the pressure can be applied. Yep. Olympians um, have lost control of the budgets, apparently. Yes. Uh, in, in that chaos, they've managed to lose control and Mammoth have been, been able to regain quaffle possession and ball put over the top. And, and that has gone over the top, over the top to the boundary, inbounding by Benton now. Ooh, and Great beat there on Zach McDonald. They on currently McDonald's have no there. rudgers. Do you know what? I'm just going to go with surnames because I can read them. That's very nice. Numbers also work. No, I, yeah. That's quite hard on the man, on the uh, man's kit sometimes. Um, yes. Yes, you're very right there, Willie. Ooh. Where is the third bludger? Ball pop back to number I eight. Uh, well, with the third bludger is with um, I see Olympians it now, yep. and four. with number four. Oh, great dodge there by Sam Davies. And it's going to be... Oh, what a nice beat and lovely oh, shot. What a drive and dish. Great clean up by mm. Sam Davies. Callum Brennan beat there as well. Number three pressing very high now for Olympians. Yeah. Olympians have got, 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 got to control back. Oh. They didn't leave it for, for, for very long. Yeah. 99 with the uh, pre pressuring Lewis there. I don't know what number Lewis is. Uh, more pressure, good pass over, and oh, oh, that. That oh, what a kick though! That was a good kick. Kick to retain the possession. Dixon keeps it inbound. Oh, it's to us. Unfortunately, it crosses the boundary and comes towards us in the yep. top box. Number nine, nine, back to keeper, number eight. 99 to eight there. Uh, I believe that's Jade on the left. Uh, Oop. I really wish I knew more of the Olympian players. The break with the ball pops it over to 99, Jade. Jade dodges the beat. Goes past one, puts it back out to number three. Jumping for Joe Croucher. Croucher cross. Oh, and what a lovely play there to 22. Great goal as well. Great beat by the Mammoth beat there to force them to rush back to hoops. Personally, I would have just jogged it. Uh, yeah. As we saw last game, I definitely was sprinting the entire time. Yeah. But number number uh, 22's uh, p p p p uh, positioning there was perfect for the goal. Yeah, up. yeah, it was a nice driving dish. Yeah. Ooh, Good pressure good there. Pressure. And oh, Bridget's nine, nine in, trying. Uh, running into oh. Bridget's move. Oh, a nice pass. And oh, oh knocks the ball out. Oh, 22 picks it up. Back to their keeper. Their keeper is now immune. James King Nichols on for Azabita. Number, oh, I can't read that. 19, 19. I want to say. 19 beat Tom Harvey. Number, I want to say number 8. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe it's correct. Mm -hmm. The Amit is now on to beat for uh, Flimbians. Okay. Number 1. Forward 35 for Olympians now. Back to, eight. back to eight, back to 35. Eight Looking for an option, pops it over. Oh, great pass there. <laughs> Looked like it got tipped, but number three scoring there. That's number three. Yeah. Uh, Goal is uh, score is currently 4 0 uh, to Olympians. Uh, 5 0, I put that's upon me. Yeah. Great to unwrap. Oh, nice great tackle. tackle. Wonderful oh. stuff. These are coming to help. And about. Oli Barker getting the tackle. Pass off beforehand. 
Who's kept it and Oli Bosch taking it down. And Derek McFall over the bludger of the couple. Well, no, it's imagine. So they questioned whether or not it was an inbounding play. But the ball never went outside of the boundary. Um, I thought it would have been funny if, if, if uh, Voucher had stepped over the line thinking it was a boundary mm -hmm. call. Um, giving Mammoth the ball. But uh, no, power plays it with the ref before making the play. Uh, looking for the shot. 35 with the ball, back to three. Currently, no, 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 just currently. Oh, right, oh Dix, Dixon, six. Oh, great work Excellent. by Crouch just to sort of step through everyone. Great beat by uh, James to retain control. Callum Brennan with a bludgeon now coming forward with the rest of the Mammoth offense. Oh, lovely beat, beat over there. Great beat, no, no bludgers, nope. They uh, got one. Now that now uh, Claxton, Sam Claxton, is that who that was? But Sam Claxton with the bludger there for yeah. Mammoth. Unfortunately, they passed it to a, uh, to a, to a, to a pressure player. Oh, Armitage with a lovely spin and moving goal. No good beat before. beat before. Goal called beat before. <laughs> it's still 6 0. Uh, now. Goswell on now. Sorry, I, I am. I am not struggling to see. Uh, I just can't see the kit numbers on the. That on it, 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 it's just a, it's dark and dark. It's hard to see. Yeah. I think that's 28. One minute is worth. 30. Um, 23. Number 11 is one. Number 11 with, with Goswell with the ball. Goswell Oli Barker is doing a good pressure. Oh, oh, great tackle, tackle by Oli Barker. And then good follow up by the beater. And there's no B Rogers. Fenton pass one. Run, literally just sprint around it. Pass back to Barker. And the lovely, lovely goal. Tackle into. A goal by Oli Barker there. No relation to you? No relation. Uh, we were on the chest at the same time. Uh, everyone said, oh, it's the older Barker. He's actually younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good fun fact. Yeah. Tom Harvey with the ball now. Uh, coming up to the centre of the pitch. With Dixon to his left. Looking for... Owens, I believe that's actually there, and Agnes behind Peach, isn't it? Armitage is doing a good pressure. Ooh, oh, nice that's block. an unlucky shot, straight into the hands of Barker. Barker is now going to look to freight train this through, pops it over to Fenton. Fenton's got another option, looking for his option. Oh, and this is a lovely pass. Oh, oh Armitage fumbles Armitage it. Armitage fumbles it, Dixon, and the keeper's ball. Dixon's gone and, and made a great play to grab that there, and that will be a turnover to Mammoth. Yes. <laughs> that was unfortunate by Josh Very Armitage bad. on the Ooh. fumble. Brings down. I think a timeout might. Timeout, timeout. Timeout has been called by Mammoth. That's probably a good shout. They are I seven goals down. Yes, I think they do need to have a rethink. I think they may be a bit tired. Uh, get their heads right. I don't think the game's going badly for them. I think they're being out pressured. I guess. Yeah. Olympians are playing this very high pressure defense that they that has become natural to them. They do really like it, and it has really worked for them. Mm -hmm. um, but. We've now been struggling, sorry, not we've, uh, but it's a, it is quite difficult to break down. Um, you do have to move the ball a lot. You have to be very nimble with your feet and be ready to pass and move, pass and move, mm -hmm. pass and move, basically. And um, all this, I look like uh, they might have uh, control. Um, they, have re they have regained control, man, uh, which is very good. I don't remember when that happened. I didn't I was either. <laughs> I was too busy focused on the quaffle. Uh, but... Um, Timeout is over. People are going back to their brooms. Mm -hmm. We will now see what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking Oxford, um, the members might try for a uh, name or two right now. Uh, might be a good way to keep control while Dan going to get a save. and Callum Brennan on, I don't know. I think Dan, I think that is Dan Holmes. Yeah, there it is. Right here. I feel like they will look to name harm, but is it really worth it is my question. I, th I think it'd be worth I having a goal. I personally think relieving the pressure with your bludgers is probably the better move in this scenario. You can take a relaxed... Uh, the, the, the pacing Mammoth are playing with, with this slow build-up offence, um, it really suits that style of being able to just to sort of give your players that little bit more time, a little bit less pressure, give them the space, and they can make plays with the ball. Uh, they've, got this, they've got this sort of channel play tri that they're trying to work out. Mm. And everyone back to the brooms. Freeman is the one beating right in front of the big, big, big leaders. He's, ooh. Oh, yeah. Callum is up. going to trade. Oh, what a trade. Uh, Great ooh. trade by Dan Holmes. Very nice. Big, big, big uh, head beat, but 
hustle time. I would hustle. If I'm dad, I would hustle. And Mammoth have lost control, but they but still have a budget. Mammoth <laughs> did not take advantage of that great bit of beta play on the trade and have also now wasted control. But oh, Lewis Dixon with a shot. That went in. I personally, I, I could not tell if that went in. Neither. I think it bounced off the player went in. The fact that hoop is shaking would suggest it did. Um, this is why you need glasses for this. If you can't see very well, do invest in glasses. So the score is now 7-1 to Olympian. Yeah. I think it looks like that, 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 that timeout really helped. Uh, I think... El Ooh, yellow card as well for contact with the hind. The card will be negated by the goal. Was that yet? And back to number 11, the sentence. Yeah. Uh, it looks to me, his only beater is on the far right. Uh, Dan Spell could go tackle him. And, oh, there's a bludger on their No, pitch. no, oh, yeah. bludger, there one. is a bludger back. I would not personally not look to break here. I think... If I can, uh, Mammoth might have control now if they get to that one quickly. Yeah. Benson coming down uh, the near side of the field now. Um, uh, looking for. Probably. Armitage, Armitage, I think? No, yeah. Armitage is marked out. Beaters are covering one of the options. Second option is sort of floating in the middle. Uh, 99 floating in the Ooh, middle. Oh, I'm a lovely beat trade. Them. Now, no. Oh, great block as well. Armitage oh, with the drive. Oh, and that what a, a yeah, that's fumbled a, beat. Great goal. Great goal. There we go. Oh, that is so mm. unlucky for Mammoth. I do not think Olympians were aware of Dixon breaking down this near side no. with the with the quaffle. That probably would have been a goal if they were on the bridge down. So apparently that they haven't got control of the budget or that, but hoops, they might have time to uh, run it. He might have time to run yeah, it through before. I think I think the focus by um, Olympians wasn't on the quaffle, where the quaffle was. I think they were celebrating the goal, weren't really paying full attention to uh, where the quaffle was. Yeah, now they've been able to have a yep. chance to turn and look on the swivel. It's yep. unfortunate that their call was met. There was a call for a boom down there. Uh, but Mammoth have the quaffle, so yep. they can't oh, really complain. We've got a trade there. Miracle Bridge from Freeman, but they are not using it. Here they are, running no, forward. They should press. They should look for the press. Press is still on. And that's Olympian's ball. Uh, there's a chance there for there to be a no uh, uh situation, but they managed to, man man managed to recover it. McDonald's kind of coming up pitch with beating. Yeah, they had time. I think the fact that they were making subs as well for Olympians kind of slows that pace of the game down. It's it's normally like when you want to break and look to make these no budget situations, you genuinely want all four chasers running, and, uh, so that the um, ball carrier has has three options instead of yep. one. And the ball, oh, nice great ball. goal by Fenton! Nice little pop shot. Lovely stuff. You just know that I think uh, 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 oh, a great behind. beat by uh, Callum Brennan. Good. Oh, and a great catch as well by Brennan. Oh, oh what, what a what a beat! Oh, he was just and I'm, he's no blood, just Dixon. Oh, oh good Adam, save by Adam number eight. Block. Num Advantage down. marker thrown down. So we're going to see what the call is for. Ooh. A legal charge. Um, yeah, they were. They were. I, I I can't really tell what the elite, when the illegal charge. Occurred. I didn't see anything myself. But personally, I think it was when, I think, when number eight was going to pick the ball up and Lewis ran at them. Um, I, I have a feeling Olympians will take advantage of this uh, the numbers advantage they've got right now. Kind of great beat. Oh. oh, good block. Right, and that's a great block. Now, oh, but, uh, one of the bludgers coming off the round. And go for Olympians, will it think? Dixon now released from the box, back into the game. Goal is now, score is now 10-1, will it think? So the scoreboard only says 0-1. So the scoreboard right now, uh, you see that uh, Oxford are 11 points up, but hopefully they'll stick that soon. Now go, now, if I'm, I'm now the, nice if I'm the chaser, I go early. Oh, 
Let's go back to Dixon. Okay. Dixon has an option to the left. Three. Wants out. No budget on hoops. Driving in. Four. Lovely Whoa. goal. Goal. Beautiful goal there by Olivia. I believe that was. Olivia. I, I feel like there was both players' goal. They kind of both worked together yeah. to sort of push it in. It was in the same area. We'd love to see it. I'd have yeah. to start. So the goal. The score is now uh, looks like a 10-2. Um, ball now with number eight from Olympians. Now 35. Uh, looking behind Croucher, I believe. Back to A. Eight to 35. 35 looking for an option. Over the top. Oh, a great goal. If anything, it'll be called for goaltending. Yeah. Dixon getting confused. Obviously, they were originally wearing the green. Committed a foul, so the headband got turned over, so they cannot put their arm through the hoop. Unlucky by Mikey Anson with the throw. <sighs> um, Olympians with the ball now. Cross to eight. Eight has the ball. Sam Davies with the bludger. Control sat with Olympians right now. They're now taking a much slower of pitch. I think they've, uh, they, they, they've realised their lead and not wanting to uh, get tired out. Yes, there, there is another day of the tournament, so um, and they will be looking to go quite deep into it. Oli Bok has the ball, he is way behind Hoop. Yep, he's almost on that boundary line, mm -hmm. looking for his options. Running, driving at Mikey, comes back down to the front, looking for an option, looking for a ch chance on goal. 22 trying to sort of set a pick, but it wasn't a pick. Um, Number eight, the ball, eight across to three, I believe that is. Oh, I can't tell without the shot, but it didn't go in. But Olympians still have the ball. So yeah, and they have control on the... 22 now with the ball. And Oli Bok has the ball, ball and, and he shoots. And he and scores. Uh, but in the process there, oh, Sam Davies... In and they have lost bludger control, and they have no bludgers. This might be a good goal for them if they... There is a no bludgers situation here. Off and off. Vicky Morris with the ball now. Oh, is it Fran Morris with the ball? Across to Wainwright. Back to Dixon with the ball. Dixon trying to drive through. Drop past one. Pass two looking for... A oh, and he That shoots. was a beautiful shot. I don't think it was a shot. It was a pass intended for the receiver. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe underthrown might be what I would say for it to go in, but still, good goal. Yeah. Goal's a goal. At the Goal's end of a goal. Day. All the matches that it went through the hoop. That is now, uh, I believe, 12 3. Oh, and a great beat by Callum Brennan there. He's going to look to press. Yeah, yeah there's just no better situation currently, but they still want to get a goal. Oh, and that's a great goal by. Was it 92 that scored that? Looks like it, yeah. No, uh, it I was, was 99, wasn't it? It was 99. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry if it's on live, live stream. I can't tell which player it is from here in terms of whether it's was it 22 or 99. And number 11, 37 is running Back up. To the oh, what a fake point one, pass one. Oh, you, they, sold, they absolutely sold the chase. They should have gone for the goal and glory themselves. Great shot exactly. by Dixon again. Actually, actually a, a, a shot that, that, that time not passed, but that again. pump fake though, that pump fake to sell the chaser, very sharp. Back now, scoring now 13 4. Eight passes the ball off mm -hmm. so they can sub. Mm -hmm. uh, ball now with, I want to say 22. Mm -hmm. 22 with the ball. Mouse now bringing it up slightly closer to the to being even, but they still have a ways to go. Yes, yes they do, Billy. Yes they do. Uh, 22 looks to pass it back to 11. Benson, Benson with the ball now, looking to set something up. Luke's beat there, unfortunately. Oh, Ooh. lovely five-star skill moves by James no King Nichols there. to drag the ball with his feet away. Throws at Callum. Callum is, 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 is not safe due to getting beat before the inbounding call was called. They have now lost control and Olympians have gained it. And Olympians are going to press. But Dixon was smart. Dixon with the pick. Ball put into space, but great throw there by Brennan, Callum Brennan. Great beat again. Two solid back-to-back -back beats there. Yeah, he is running into a budget, but <coughs> he's taking it slow. We think we're doing. Looking for an option. Ooh, Ooh. that's an un underthrown, unfortunately. Number, I can't tell them the mammoth kit. Four, I want to say 40 something. Is that 40? What's the number there, Billy? Uh, I'm seeing 31, I think. 31, thank you, Billy. Uh, number 31 beat out uh, 
for four being able to make a reception. Ball now with... So that's 35. 35. 35 looking to drive. One in 19 with the bludgers for Olympians now. Oli Bok has more and oh. what a play! Look at interesting there. 55 was playing as a beat before as well. That's yeah. very interesting. Shows the versatility of this Olympian squad. Mm. Ball across mm -hmm. to 31. Manson now regained uh, 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 control and they have it. They have control with Popple. Pop pop Ball thrown very, very deep to, to Harvey. Harvey looking for a pass. Put into space, but no one's there. Ball then just rolls off the boundary. It looks to me like it was passing to the goal ref. Maybe. Maybe the black of the goal ref and the black of the kit for Mammoth is what they got confused with. We currently have Snitch on pitch. Snitch has been, uh, no, Flag Runner. Get it right. Flag Runner. Flag apologies. Runner has been let out. Uh, the Flag Runner today is uh, Michal Kreff mm -hmm. from Team England fame and Wales of London. Mm. And looking off by the pitch, we have uh, Arm Cheater starting seeker for Olympians. And can you show who this is for uh, Mammoth? I, I could not tell you at <coughs> first glance. Um, I think. If you're in towards us, we'll, 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 we'll yeah, fly then. I'm, I'm very sorry. Unfortunately, I do not know. Uh, but oh, great drive by Dick. Dixon should look off like. Oh, Barker looks to rip the ball away. Great beat. <laughs> Turnover. Fenton, just, Fenton is going to look to go. The Olympians have realised we do need to put some pace back into this. Three seconds. Two, two one, one. And they are loose. Armitage. Oh, running wow. Right a very wide arc being forced by the Olympians beaters on the Mammoth. Oh, uh, we dive for it. They dive for it. Seeker. Mammoth Seeker is beat. Armitage is really going for it. Uh, I'm really going to focus on the Quaffle game, I think, because this, of the range of this game. Ball with 55. Takes a shot. No good. Right, back to the Seeker game. Armitage on. Armitage trying to use a spin move to catch. Uh, Mihal. Mihal. Oh! They're so looking back at the uh, Quaffle. Uh, Fresh they have high been pressure being applied by. Um, oh, and what a catch! That was insane. I can't see that being called bad. Please say the camera caught that. I don't see any reason that the infringement should be called. Uh, but we cannot speculate. Not allowed to make ref calls, unfortunately. Uh, but I will speculate the catch is good. Um, it was a lovely dive. Quick one one handed grab on the downswing. Very happy. I, if I'm Olympians, very happy after a tough loss earlier in the day to Velociraptor. And catch is good. <coughs> Final score is Billy. You can work it. Uh, 180 to uh, Olympians and four, four goals uh, to Oxford Mammoth. Uh, I've been Arjun Sharma. I've been Billy Barker. And we will see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.